I received the Oscar for contributions to widening past fashion and social mobility while I was at university. So I got involved with the 93% Club Warwick uh, in my first year and ended up becoming president of the society. And we work really hard to support students from state and school backgrounds um, in bridging the educational gap. And as part of that year, we worked on cost of living projects to support members um, and also did research and outreach into local schools as well. Uh, I was also widening past version officer at the Students' Union and as part of that I worked on the SU's cost of living um, work with the university. Um, I also worked on some other initiatives like a guarantor scheme for students um, and a series called Let's Talk About Classism which was about socioeconomic discrimination in uh, university settings. Um, as part of that I also worked on uh, some reforms to Warwick values and other um, processes within the university. Um, alongside that, I also did research into um, how the type of school attended shapes your transition into university. From my Oscar experience and my time at Warwick, I've learned the value of taking opportuni opportunities. I think the really amazing thing about Warwick is that there's so much to do and so much to get involved with. And I think it's a fantastic opportunity to carve your own path and work on your own development of your skills um, and your journey throughout university life. So throughout that, I've really learned to take your own initiative, work on projects which are very important to you. And ultimately what I've tried to channel is, is making the community a better place for everyone going forward. My favorite thing about my Warwick experience is the people. Um, I think the professors and all of the students are truly exceptional. And I think they're so smart and I'm very lucky to call a lot of them my friends as well as potentially co-workers on different schemes and I think just getting the opportunity to talk to these world leading academics, uh, students who are really passionate about what they do and what they study has, has been amazing and it's helped towards my own development throughout my studies. And I think just having that community of people around you is really valuable and it's definitely a standout feature of, of, of Warwick. I think the advice that I'd give to my past self starting a work would be to not be so apprehensive about asking for help. I think in my first year I had a lot of imposter syndrome because around such exceptional people who all are very dedicated and very passionate about what they do. And I think I started off Warwick being very nervous about asking people for help. But as I progressed through my university journey, I realized that people are very friendly. They're always very willing to give you help when you need it, whether through extracurriculars or through your studies. And the people here are just really wanting to see you develop. And I wish I had taken advantage of that at the start of my university journey a little bit more. It sounds very cliche, but Not 19 Forever uh, feels like a very good fit because my 19th birthday was the very first one I, I uh, had away from home. I think that song encapsulates a lot of the journey of growing up through university and the journey of maturing and taking advantage of your development and, and growing old not old, but growing up through university. I really loved my studies, particularly in economics, and I will be moving into financial regulation when I finish university. Um, I wanted to continue with the theme of looking after and representing ordinary people, you know, people who aren't looked after by um, processes and who uh, might be forgotten by uh, companies and are generally underrepresented within society and I think financial regulation is a really amazing way to to give back to society and uh, communities within the UK so I'm very looking forward to that.